All right, tubes. We're getting ready to paint the the economy here. I had to set up here behind the trees because we got a little bit of wind today. Whoops! Let me get out of my shadow here. All the stuff's been stripped down, sandblasted. Even the wheels. We got the wheels all taken down to bare metal. The pulley. All the little parts. Carburetor. And we got the engine itself. All taped up here, ready to go. I got the pool right here, so I can't back up too far. I'll give you a good good shot, but alright. We're gonna prime it now. See what happens. Alrighty. Talk to you later. Old Road King here, he's out of retirement. He hasn't painted cars in years. But now we're painting this hit and miss. Look at him, he hasn't lost a touch. Hey, Toops! There he is. We're just putting a sealer coat on now. Stay tuned for some color. Alrighty. Here goes the engine block. I don't know why Road King's worried about his hair there. It's already gray. Look at him go. Gun's getting heavy. <laughs> It's been a couple of years, huh, Road King? Too many. Look at that. It's almost all primer, all sealed up. Alrighty. Alright, guys, here goes the red color. What are you using there, Road King? What's that, a uh, Bink 7? Oh. All right, that looks like it painted a few cars back in his day. It goes nothing. He hasn't lost the painter's touch. Ooh, heavy. It's only a couple pounds there, Road King. Looking good. Right, I don't want to... What? Left-handed. Ah. 
All right, I don't want to bore you guys too much. We'll show you the engine block when it gets there. Go ahead, Road King. See what you do with the engine block. I like that color. And see that. All right. So I'm talking about there. Got our tack coat on. I'm gonna let that set up a little and uh, put a couple more coats on and call it a day. All right, tubes. Road King's preparing himself for the final coat here. We're on the home stretch, and he's off. Give you guys a good look when we're all done here. Hate to have to bore you with all this, but uh, it looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. Forgot to tell you guys that we're using uh, urethane single stage paint. Stuff's really expensive, but if you want to play, you gotta pay, isn't that right, Road King? All right. Hey, tubes. Here's uh, here's the damages for the paint job on the economy engine. Here's the, I don't know if you see that. I'll try to zoom in a little slower for you. Came to 110 bucks just for the, the color coat. Show us what you got there for 110 bucks, uh, racer. Got some uh, reducer. You got you got to get the reducer. That's 13 bucks. All right, that's only a quart. All right. All right. You got to get the hardener. The hardener. That's 25 bucks. That's 25 bucks. bucks. Right. And then you got to get the then paint. You got to get the damn paint. Sit down. Hold it. Sit down, tube. Sit down for this one. I don't know if we got a price on here, but I think it was uh, that's like 66, 66 bucks. bucks. Yeah, 66 bucks for a quart of paint, red paint. But then we had to prime it, so lucky, yeah. lucky I had it in stock. I must have bought it for another project, but never used it. And then uh, we sealed it with this seal here. This is your thing, you know. If you're gonna do it, you must do it right, right? That was twenty-five bucks. That was twenty-five bucks. And you got the hardener for that. Yeah. Where's it at? I'm trying to focus here. Hold up. So twenty-five bucks for that, and and then you got to get the hardener for that. So what, what do you got? All that total. Uh, what do you got there, racer? One hundred and sixty bucks. 160 bucks to paint a motor to probably, probably ain't even worth it. You never get it back, but you know, you want something that's going to be oil and gas resistant. Alright, I thought you'd find that interesting. Alright? Alright, tubes. Talk to you later.